We're live! Hello, sheep. Hi. Hi. Here, let's wait for some people to pile in, and then we'll get started. Why can I not see it? Is it not showing up for you? Oh, uh, there we go. Uh-huh. Uh, what, what do you think of the setup, by the way? Uh, very, very... It's strange. Not in a bad <laughs> way, but... <laughs> I don't mean that in a nasty way. <laughs> no, you're good. I'm, it, I'm like, I just noticed the the Spatz Burger Hiram Art in the back. Yeah, it, it is meant to look like a toy goblin, and I just brought you into my living room. That's why. Yeah, yeah, it's quirky with a capital Q. <laughs> <laughs> quirky in the uh, Chris Chad variety. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why do you wound me so, <laughs> you bastard? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going down YouTube rabbit holes again uh, and I'm uh -huh. just fucking rediscovering the Chris Chad documentary. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> uh, hold on, my uh, thing is being a bit weird. No, you, you keep talking, I'm just... Uh, Twitch is being weird right now. I'm just well, shooting the shit. I've never, I've never spoke to the Twitch audience. No. No, they're gonna they're gonna say that I'm I'm not poggers or some shit. <laughs> not poggers. I think you're very pogger sheep, and that's all that matters. I'm My opinion. Right. All right, we have we are ready. We have eight people in chat. Everyone say hi. Here, let's see. <sighs> hi. Hi. It seems chat's not working for some reason. Trying to connect the chat, but it's like fucked. So yeah, let me see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Huh? Oh, you peaked like so much. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, I said she can't hear me. Uh, I, I, well, yeah, I, I fixed you, and then um, something happened. But I mean, it's fine. You're good. You fixed me. Fix, <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro. Yeah, oh. Someone else is dead and quiet. Thank you, cheeseburger. I appreciate you. Who's quiet? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm gonna have to fucking amateur sound quality in under sixty seconds. I will punch you. <laughs> Good luck. You can't get me. Oh, they're saying that you're quiet. I just made you louder. Hold on, let me see. Maybe, maybe, maybe they're just talking about me in general. They're like, he's actually a nice, quiet, reserved, wholesome individual. <laughs> how, how about now, guys? The, can you hear him now? Speak sheep about something. Oh yeah. shit! Sorry, my bad. No, you're good. <laughs> no, Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hiya. You're very loud to me. Oh, that might be something on my end then. Uh, this should help. Is someone on the phone? Oh no, it's uh, chat yelling at each other. Bit of that old dial-up connection. Yeah, just mute me. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, of course the one. Like, cause I I, I did this setup before and everything worked fine. I know the minute I try it, everything just breaks. Hold on. Uh, let's see here. So, Today uh, is going to be the day that they're going to throw it back to you. I'm going to throw it back for you. Uh-huh. Fine, nah, you should have... What the fuck? You should have somehow <laughs> realized what you got to do. You know the first time I ever heard Wonderwall was in a mashup with Boulevard yeah. of Bro uh, Broken Dreams. Yeah, uh, that... That and it was a biological TV video. Holy shit. Let's go. That was the first time I ever heard it. I don't know how to make you louder. I think. I mean, my the gain on my mic is up all the yeah, way. Yeah, no, you're 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 good. You're good. And have you just muted me on Discord? <laughs> no, you're not muted on Discord. You're you're fine, you're fine. Here, let's you're see. Fucking me over on Discord. Please be patient with me, everyone. I'm sorry. Uh, here, let's see. No, you're up all the way. Okay, uh, someone in chat. How do we sound? Hi, yeah. Uh, oh. oh. What happened? We were unable to connect to chat. Spats is quiet now. Oh, did I break? Why? Why have uh, I just been arranged for amateur hour? I'm going to punch my booking manager for this. <laughs> oh, I'm First, I'm going to hire the booking manager. Oh, okay, here. Okay. Yeah, th this should... How about this now, guys? Is this good? I, I think I, I think I fixed it. I think I fixed it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. 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 Hi.
Oh, yeah. We're, I, we're actually just a couple of fucking idiots. Oh, uh, yeah, but that's funny, though. It's good. No one comes. You don't come onto a show called Mind Goblins for the professional quality. We're. Mind s- Goblin. Mind Goblin Steve Jobs. Go. Yo, yo, you're so funny. Batch is fine. Sheep is still a Okay, I, I, see what, I, I see what's happening. I see what's happening. Uh, talk sheep? Uh, uh, woe is me. Woe is me. Okay, Life I, is hard. We should be even now. We should be even now. Um, if you could just do one more clear in chat, that would help out immensely. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> You know, it's a good thing I wasn't in the middle of anything tonight. Yeah. Other than playing Minecraft in my pants, but that's not the point. I mean, isn't that like the human dream? Okay, cool. Let's start. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first episode of Mind Goblins. I am your host, Spats the Goblin, followed by here, uh, if you can introduce yourself. Hi, I'm I'm the sheep wielder. (laughs) You probably know me from such disappointments as Transformers in under 60 seconds (laughs) and the retrospectives of the War for Cybertron trilogy. Lovely. Um, so, everyone who's here, thank you for coming. Uh, today, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna ask Sheep some questions. Um, and if you don't mind... Hmm? Sorry. Oh, full, you're full, dis- full disclosure for the chat, I'm currently mm-hmm. drinking alcohol right oh, now, yeah. so expect to be He is a bit piss-faced. Fuck you, Delta. <laughs> I'll fucking... <laughs> you're... <laughs> Hold on. Wrong, you're just getting nobodies. I am... That's- Hey, look, if I just come out here swinging my swing here, I'll fucking, I'll shoot you, <laughs> Delta, fuck you. <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, no. Uh, how do I turn that off? Bam. Okay. Oh, I put on a different thing by accident. Okay, cool. What the fuck is that? Uh, it was gun. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, questions. Uh, I hope you have answers. I hope I do. Yeah. So, Sheep, since we're going into introductions and stuff like that, um, one thing I like to ask is, how would you describe your job to someone who doesn't understand? Do you mean like my actual super secret discreet job that I tell no one, or do you mean what do I do on YouTube? <laughs> the YouTube one, Sheep. Um... I just chat absolute asinine shit about some of my interests, and for some reason, people seem to like it, and then people stop caring. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's fundamentally what it is. Like, uh-huh. I, I, to someone who, yeah, to someone who doesn't know, I just chat shit. But mm-hmm. I suppose I probably put a disclaimer of I just sound fucking miserable. I'm actually like quite happy in my hobby. That's good. Under right. the dulcet tones of being foreign. Lovely, lovely. Um, so where, by my understanding, you're from Scotland, right, Chief? Correct. I uh, gotcha. And you're based in London now? Uh, near enough. Mm. Near enough. Nice. It's, uh, it's, I'm without, I'm within a hundred miles of London without doxing myself. Too. No, yeah, of course, of course, of course. To your discretion. Um, I... I, I'll just go into the little tangent. I lived there until mm-hmm. I was about... I lived in my hometown until I was about 21. Uh-huh. And after my sister got married, because I lived with her, I decided to mm-hmm. fuck off out. Yeah. I uh, moved to the nearby city, spent a year there. I was going to try and study animation. After coming off a two-year diploma in film production, I decided I'm not fucking interested. Sure. And I just ended up moving nearer to London to chase the jobs, and then never did. No oh, valid. Made one plan, didn't follow up on it, did something totally different, and here I am. Hey, but it, it, it does seem that uh, YouTube has been working out for you lately, especially with the explosion of, you know, X in 60 seconds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll be honest, I, I, put, I, ch- I completely chalked that up to me deciding to wait until I was in my 20s. Yeah. Because I originally start, like, I tried YouTube as a 13-year-old in of course. 2008. As we all tend um, to, yeah. It was shit. Like the highlight of that was I 
broke 100 subs and I had a video with 1k views. Granted, the community was smaller back then, so it was, yeah. it was something, you know. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, I went away and I sort of said, like, you know, I want to make a proper go of it, try and, you know, make content more regularly. And the way it sort of lined up, it didn't pan out until a year, two and a half, uh, about two years ago mm -hmm. when I moved into this house. Yeah. Which is my own home that I was able to do it. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I kind of hijacked a, a newly developing format with the shorts. Mm -hmm. And then they quickly got their act together and it just kind of sunk to the bottom. I see. I see. Um, well, so speaking of shorts and uh, the like, so I actually, I'm a personal fan of yours. Um, I uh, found you through your uh, War for Cybertron retrospective. Um, one thing I was going to ask you was um, between your long form and short form content, what performs better for you? Do you usually find? So for a long time, it was the short form. Mm -hmm. Um, like through the short form without blowing my own horn to like there was one at my peak i made, mm. i earned 450 subscribers in one night yeah and then after that it just sort of like i distinctly remember it, it was when i did fossilize a week that the views just because for a while i was hitting 100,000 80,000 mm -hmm. like my my most viewed video was 150,000 mm -hmm. And then I kind of made the transition to long form because the shorts format just dropped off on views. Like you look at it now mm -hmm. and it just, it never hits the same numbers it used to. For a while I did actual uploads with in under two minutes, which was a bit derivative, a bit of shit, all that sort of stuff. But sure. I kind of, I tried to chase that one and I just got bored of it. Yeah. I thought if I'm going to, long form content i need to do something that's you know giving me something to think about because mm -hmm. some of the times you could say yeah the paint's nice the posability is nice insert joke here yeah yeah but like of i course. recently got the short back because i just it's just something to keep the channel ticking over at the minute no, yeah. while i'm kind of reevaluating what i'm doing and it <laughs> It's not because people kept on just commenting on all my shit saying, bring the shorts back. Oh, no. Did, oh, did, no. That did sort of play a part in it. I kind of thought, if it's what people are going to watch, maybe I should. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a mm -hmm. it's a weird one. Like, original, it basically, it's short form. That always does the best for me, but mm -hmm. it doesn't do as well as it used to. Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, it is so... I mean, it makes sense, because since you initially got into it when Shorts was brand, brand new, you probably got recommended way more. Yeah. So, yeah, no, that that makes a lot of sense. Um, well, speaking... Uh, well, uh, no, I was just going to ask you. Um, well, so speaking of channel and like, it seems like you have tried before to kind of pivot in um, different directions with your channel. Um, if you could change uh, pivot your channel to anything that interests you with and keep the maximum amount of success that you've had on your channel what would you pivot to um my interest was always with short film mm -hmm. and well not just short film but film in yeah. general making short film uh this idea for making like taking each daft punk album and turning it into a self-contained film with the, the soundtrack being the only basically interstellar five 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 whatever it's called mm -hmm. but for all of them and just tell it a story because like i mean i'm not gonna get too far into that but it's no, like just good. you know filmmaking and telling a story like it's why my shorts always had that element of lore to it because that's yeah. always the thing that interested me is telling a story writing a fiction having a bit of a giggle with it Oh, yeah. you know that's why like i'm looking at doing uh a, a lore dedicated little series yeah. towards the end of the year i don't know if it will be towards the end of the year sure like but that's the plan is to try and shift away to that but then i'm also thinking about expanding beyond transformers like i think the thing is with like i'm really cynical about it yeah i'm like i enjoy it for what it is I appreciate the different opinions people take to it, but then I do have this element of why should anyone care? Yeah. You know, there's been so many times I've made videos and I'm like, 
who cares who's actually watching this and listening uh-huh. and wants to hear what some knobhead on the other side of the country or the other side of the world <laughs> think about this yeah toy, this plastic toy yeah so there is some degree of cynicism where i'm like mm, do, no, I, do I want to just stick talking about that and th- to the people who have just made a killing and made a fan base and made a name off just doing it fair play mm-hmm. apart from certain ones no, of so course. i'm not gonna get into that, you know. <laughs> but, um, drama but um yeah no i just i i kind of want to just pivot away from talking about just just this hobby yeah I do have other oh, of course so um, by my understanding, you're trying to go through a kind of like you do. You're actively trying to do some more stuff outside of Transformers reviews and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Is there anything in particular you want to highlight that you want to do, or also if you were to basically do the same format you had, what hobby would you replace it with? I don't think I, so. I, mm-hmm. My wife has often said about doing the under sixty seconds videos, but about Lego sets, and I'm like. Uh-huh. I don't think it would have the same punch. There's every possibility it would. Mm-hmm. I, I personally, like, the thing with me doing these shorts is I sit down with something in front of me and yes. I think I can make fun of that, I can make fun of that. Uh-huh. It's just the energy of me interacting with it. Like, this is oh, 100%. None, of it, none, none of it's scripted. I might think of a joke before oh. I go into it, but I, I don't pre-plan any of it. It's all in the moment. And I, like, I look at, I don't know, just looking at the Lego set of the Saturn V, Mm-hmm. I'm like, what can I really joke about with that other than it's big and long? Yeah, <laughs> of course. So, but I think one of the things I'm kind of interested in doing is like, how do I word it? Like, I think my quick format, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's just me that has it, but like, sure. my pre- my preference to approach a subject with a time scale, I think I could easily take to a Lego set. So, like, I don't know. Um, Oh, pardon me. Okay. Like the Lego, the Lego tall neck in under two minutes, and it's just chatting some ch- some nice details, maybe a couple of yeah. things, but that'll be as far as it goes. Um, beyond that, I think what I'd probably want to try and refine is the retrospective format mm-hmm. and take that to some of my other things. I had this idea for a, uh, an ongoing series, and it's kind of it's a little bit red letter media inspired, oh, sure. especially. Since are doing review and it was going to be I, I called it anatomy of a franchise uh-huh. and it was going to be just detailing everything and the idea I had for a blueprint was the Nightmare on Elm Street series yeah and it was going to be here's the base movie here's all these sequels um, here's the reboot here's the TV show mm-hmm. here's the crossover you know all that sort of random and just talking about it of like course. not as a review but just as run through it mention it yeah Maybe give feedback on it if I've watched it. Kind of like cataloging. Kind of, yeah, yeah, archiving in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I kind of think to myself, like, who would actually be interested in watching that? So, and if you... That's my big drawback with oh. a lot of content. I've scratched so many things because uh-huh. I just think, who's interested? So, I, I should, I mean, like, as a fan, I'll tell you right now, I would be very interested in that. Uh, mostly because, um, as a fan of your stuff, I usually tune into your things because I think you're, like, genuinely really witty when it comes to your, um, uh, just presenting style and stuff. Like, you're genuinely really funny. And when you, that was going to be one of the questions I was going to go into was, do you script out your videos? Um, and the fact you just do it off the cuff and stuff like that, I, like, it, I would say right now with your humor style, I mean, especially because, like, you know, we've had uh, plenty of movie nights where we just shot the shit and just, like, made fun of things like Bubba Hotep and stuff. Bubba um, Hotep. Yeah. I love that movie. I think that uh, legitimately, like, for as a fan, like, you know, telling you, um, I would say legitimately if you just kind of keep the same, your same, like, wit and analytical style, you can basically do anything you want with it. Um, I think that legitimately the retrospective review for a franchise is really interesting. Um, I like, I mean, I, I'm telling you right now, like if you were to post that tomorrow, like that would be my next favorite series and stuff. Cause I kind of uh, fell into your thing cause of the, um, the, like I said, the Cybertron reviews, uh, retrospective and stuff. And, yeah. um, because, you know, I, I'm very much, uh, like listen to someone talk while I'm doing other things. 
And um, that one was just uh, like it helped me a lot because when I started listening to you, it was when I first started getting into collecting Transformers. So it was also yeah. nice because I can like, oh, well, here's the line laid out for me in a very really nice way. And I can imagine if someone wants to get into a franchise, that would help them out significantly. Um you know, because I, I yeah. feel like you can present yourself in a really understanding and funny way and make it manageable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I kind of i am thinking about getting back to talking about the retrospectives, looking at um, the Prime Wars trilogy sure. at the minute, maybe taking a bit a bit more of a scripted angle just because, like, every video... Although, the trouble with doing unscripted is once you get to the long-form videos mm -hmm. is... I think I said it best in my Q&A. That video was 17 minutes long. Yeah. I had about 45 minutes of stuff to cut out. Yeah. And it just gets a bit repetitive. So I think like sure. what I tend to do with the long form is bullet points. But then I, like, I get to the edit and I'm like, I haven't mentioned this. And then I just think I really can't be fucked setting back up and fucking oh, yeah. added in this. Yeah. So I got a bit lazy with it, but I, I I am thinking about getting back to the retrospectives. I did record a, a Combiner Wars one. Oh sure. And it just never went anywhere because the thing kind of I kind of got a bit carried away with the shorts when mm -hmm. they were doing well. No, oh, of and course. And kind of fell off it. I mean, like, it I, oh sorry, continue. I about doing, sorry. Um, I thought about doing uh. A war for cyber i no sorry i did do it i complete i fuck me <laughs> i recorded a war for cybertron when talking about like haslab unicron and the netflix line and touching on the gen select and what else uh mentioning buzzworthy bumblebee and like i think doing that sort of thing where it does lay out this line but especially because when i did those videos i wasn't that confident talking in front of a camera sure Whereas now I can quite comfortably do it. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm it... say something offensive to mm. someone, but like you know, I don't <laughs> mind doing it. Sure. I mean, it is definitely a skill that comes with like, and you've been doing it for how many years have you been doing this for now? Like a year and a half. Year and a half, yeah. Like, I mean, the amount of the quantity of stuff that you put out, like, it makes a lot of sense that um, you would adapt to it so quickly. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, for context, what I did, the, you remember, do you remember when I did the shorts in December of 2022? That's the ones that put me on the radar, but it was sure. a short every day. Yeah, and yeah, I do remember that. New, uh, New Year's Eve, and mm -hmm. it was Naval Command, and then yeah. you got to January 1st, and it was Victory Saber, and it was yeah. all three parts. Yeah. When I got to that... I was doing those within three days of upload, whereas now I schedule uploads because I now know that's a feature. Back yeah. then, I didn't. Yeah. So they were setting my drafts on TikTok, and I was just doing three, four, five of them and just leaving them there. Sure. It was fucking awful. <laughs> well, speaking of the channel success, um, one thing I wanted to actually ask you was you've gotten sponsorship deals and stuff, by my understanding, correct? You are. Yeah. Um, what does that look like for you? Um, basically, it's gonna sound so bad, but I'd, no, I'd, you're good. Be, I'd, I'd rather be honest. It's, yeah, it's just been free shit. Yeah, like it's literally just them saying, like, look, we're gonna send you this. Uh -huh. You're gonna give an honest, like, you're gonna give your opinions on it. And I've said to them, like, I'm not gonna. I will probably approach it in a more friendly tone, mm -hmm. but I'm not gonna blow, blow up your arse and say it's the best thing ever. Sure. And they've said, yeah, that's fine. Like, I've openly admitted in some of them, like, who was it, Yolo Park, with some of the stuff with Primal and mm -hmm. Five Two Toys with a couple of those cubes they sent. I was like, these are shit. And they didn't say anything bad about it. They didn't bat an eye to it. Mm -hmm. um, and recently, I mentioned it in the Q&A, but when... Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, Safari reached out with a sponsor, and I haven't even... I'll be honest, I haven't even looked at it. Sure. And theirs is theirs is actually tangible. Theirs is they offered a code which can get me stuff oh, yeah. reduced for free. And it's a a code where I can offer it out to the viewer. And sure. I haven't I haven't touched it because oh, I'm just, sure. like, I don't know what I'm doing right now. 
Well, if you ever need like help with the that specifically, please let me know. I um I know TF Safari very well and uh I mean also kind of like marketing and stuff is my jam. So if you ever need help with that, you just feel free to reach out. Uh, Thank you. Of course. Um I mean, well, speaking of sponsorships, uh this isn't the first time we worked together before, is it? <laughs> I was expecting to see that video at some point. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you notice this lovely little poster behind me, um, the Spatsburger Harem has sponsored a video of Ice Shape. Would you mind if we uh, watched it together and kind of give a running commentary on it? I would be more than happy to do so. Let's do it. All right. So let us just switch <laughs> over. And why don't we go to Live Goblin Reaction Cam? All right, let me. Think, What's up? So I was gonna say I think that was the last um, uh, two minute review that I really enjoyed filming. Like, it didn't just feel like a, a tick box exercise. That one was just genuinely fun. <laughs> I, I do gotta say it's probably like I know I am inherently biased, but it probably was my favorite one that you did, mostly because I feel like. You can feel like how much fun you were having with it, and that's just like that's a really fun vibe to have. Um, um, I, was, I was just really happy to I be guess. associated with it. I'll I'll mute my mic so there's no feedback because okay. I'm not I'm a pleb who doesn't own headphones. So oh sure sure. Uh, let me just unmute. Alright, go for it. Cool. And uh, the, for everyone in chat who hasn't watched Sheep, or if you're just a viewer of mine, um, yeah, we're just going to watch a Sheep video that I uh, sponsored one time, and uh, you just have a running commentary about it. Uh, let's go. The Legacy Nemesis in under two minutes, sponsored by Spats Burger Harem. Let's go. Do you find yourself lonely when you're eating? Do you miss the feeling of warm meat <laughs> in your hands? Do you miss that warm meat being stuck between two buns? Why don't you come on down to Spats Burger oh. Harem? I don't exactly... One second. I should probably mute the background music. My bad. It's currently silent. Oh, sure. Uh, the... the could you not hear the video? Hello? Uh, Sheep, you there? Yeah, we're good. Oh, okay, cool. I fixed it. I uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, this bit, right? How many takes did it take for you to do this bit? What, the intro? <laughs> yes. Uh, that was one solid, like, three minute recording. Uh huh. Big, beautiful, 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 beautiful. That whole video took about two days to shoot. That was only because I had limited time because uh -huh. it's a fucking Titan and it always takes fucking forever to actually transform. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, and obviously working around it on the desk and I'm yeah. doing everything off the desk. But like, yeah, no, that the whole thing took about two days. Sure, sure. Did you, so speaking of, like, by my understanding, this particular one has made your, like, setup, like, what does your setup look like when you're filming in general? Like, I remember when you were talking with me, like, the, your first 60 second shorts were just shot on your phone. Uh, what does that look like around now? Still phone. Sure. Um, I now have a much more suitable tripod mm -hmm. that I was bought for. Christmas, it's a big old fucking, it's one of those, I don't know what the official term for it is, but I always call it like a technical one where like it's got the tripod legs and instead of being rigid, you can actually warp them round. Sure. Like, um, and then from there, it's pretty much the same. So I've now got two ring lights yeah. sitting either side of my chair, uh -huh. which face onto the deck. Of course. And apart from that, it's, it hasn't changed much. Sure. It's all, it's all still very rank amateur, but it's, but what I'm doing, it does the job. I, I do have it's, to say, your production quality is very impressive for just being like, yeah, I recorded on my phone. It was fun, isn't it? Like, <laughs> I, I put, like, this is the thing. I've always uh -huh. took sort of feedback about the technical. Like, don't get me wrong. I let the wrong feedback get to me at times. But uh -huh. I always take feedback about the quality. Sure. Obviously, people make like comments about the quality of the writing, and I'm like, of course, I'm right. <laughs> I get like there was a what was it? I shared my top whatever on Reddit my, my ranking of the year and someone went I like your top I like your personality mm -hmm. 
but I don't. Uh, your audio quality is shit, and I was like, I can't, I can't argue with that. Sure, because I was really fucking lazy and used my phone mic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, so I can't argue that when I was like, shit. Do Do you use a different mic now, or is just your? When I can be bothered, mm-hmm. when I can be bothered, I have a big. Um, I don't even know what the, the technical name for it is. I can't remember, but it's mm-hmm. articulated and it's got the, the fuzzy little afro on it. Oh, sure, sure, sure. So you have like a nice mic. Yes, I. That was one of the first things I. Yeah, I bought that about a year ago. Uh huh. So it was just in time for when I did the studio series video. I can't remember if I used it for that or if yeah. it was just after, but it was around that time. Gotcha. Valid, valid. All right. That's improved significantly. That's good. Uh, so let's see. Here. Why don't we just run through the video and then we'll yep. talk about it afterwards. Sound good? Yeah. That bit does detach, and I was hoping it would for the bit, but oh well. I'm a big fan of this bridge. Tell you what, though, I'm concerned about the size of that owl. He's fucking huge. <laughs> Absolutely necessary weapons of war. I rate it. You know, I dig it. I just love the look of this thing. It's so well held together in alt mode. Plus rear entry. That always helps. And of course, I forgot about one of the most prominent features of all: traffic cone mode. Yeah, you probably expected me to make a different joke about something big and purple, but no. For you see, I am an adult. I must say, she is just <laughs> Hang on a minute. I must say, she is just fucking huge. First off, I think this is the sh- gun accessory for a Transformer I've ever heard of. If you have heard of me, yes. Bob Jack shot off the What's I just like him better is Shin Guard. I am a big fan of the chest and head design on this. Like, just look at her head. That's so fucking menacing. But it gets better. She's got an actual face, so it's a battle mask. Kind of makes you look a bit sh**, doesn't it? Can't believe it. My biggest fantasy, and it's ruined by being someone else. I need to f***ing stop. Also, I just had to show off as light piping. Look how fucking cool that is. I really do miss everyday light piping. Also, the posability on this thing is just absolutely crazy. Yeah, it's a bit awkward with all the parts going on. And these bits are just sh**. I don't know. As far as Titans go, I like it a lot. And this was actually going to be the last Titan I was going to buy. Until Legacy United decided to show Tidal Wave. And then I realise it will never end. Oh, and I just remembered there's one more thing. So I don't have a jar big enough for this one, but I do have a bath. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh oh. Why are you naked? Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, so, she, my friend. Sorry, it was uh, delayed. Uh, I was just, uh, you're good. Wait for it. every time it is it is it is like it's probably i'm not gonna lie this is probably my favorite review solely because like the jokes you do are like the jokes are really really funny i don't think i've laughed as hard as i had in one of these in a while when i heard the jack shuttlecock Uh, (laughs) 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 just a little voice like oh you've heard heard of me yes (laughs) <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. That's the worst. <laughs> you're, you're you're just schizo posting one night and it just landed. I'm not even schizo posting one night. I'm schizo posting sat at my fucking office chair. Like, what can I turn into a joke now? <laughs> what am I trying to turn into a meme in my Discord server? <laughs> so nothing's worked. Very. <laughs> I do like Jack Shellcock. He is my favorite. Um, oh, so, <laughs> so this review, right? I, I mean, I specifically paid to have this review done mostly because I just got the nemesis and I wanted to justify it by having other people like the nemesis because no one was talking about it. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, we're so, I mean, I'm looking at it right now. It is a massive figure. It's, it's probably one of my favorites that I have just because of like had the quality and like just it's just a nice figure all around i'm a huge fan of it i'll tell you what i'll make you mm-hmm. jealous i've got it currently sat next to the arc and omega supreme that's pretty good i, I don't have omega supreme but i do have the arc um oh, okay. i mean of course you know i have them uh saying next next to each other um they're actually looking at me right now um yeah, I've got both alt mode oh yeah yeah uh i'm really so 
one question I was going to ask you, this is more of a Transformers question. Uh, yeah. How do you feel about like taking new designs and basically making leg- like making them out of legacy characters and stuff like turning the nemesis into nemesis, as it were? Like, wh- what are your opinions on just that kind of vibe, I guess? I I'll be honest, I'm all for it. Like, mm-hmm. there's people who say, like, oh, what if we turn the axle on into a Transformer? And it's no. a fucking shit Beast Wars. And I'm like, fuck off. Mm-hmm. But like there is plenty of room to do it yeah and i'm surprised that because it used to do this sort of weird shit all the time Uh but then i also think what else can you do it with sure outside of like don't i mean i'm sure there's other examples but like the one that always sticks out in my mind is in age of extinction when his car Mm -hmm. was a repaint of uh what's it reveal not reveal the shield thrilling 30 skids sure and that led a lot of people to think, oh shit, the car's going to be a Transformer. And it wasn't. The car no. just ate shit in the movie. No. But, yeah, yeah. you know, like I, I'm I'm completely up for them getting a bit creative and a bit inventive. Oh, yeah. Um, the, I mean, honestly, Legacy is my favorite line that we've had so far, mostly just because it seems like it seems like the creators are just like having fun with it. And I, that, like, you never ever get that from like a toy company. You know what I mean? It feels real. Yeah. Feels real like, oh yeah, this this feels fun. You know what I mean? So I considered doing a le- uh, retrospective on Legacy, sure. carry sure. on the the tradition so far, mm-hmm. and I decided in the end not to because this doesn't feel like a procedural trilogy. This no. is assuming it is a trilogy. There's been nothing oh, to sure. confirm it. Yeah, yeah. But it's, each year it doesn't. It, it's not like. Um, the War for Cybertron trilogy, which, by the way, still convinces me to this day that Joe Asbro has been reading my fucking hard <laughs> I could expand on that in a minute, but yeah. let me just think, get this point out. But um, with Legacy, it's a continuing, flowing thing. Yeah. And it's... I'm like, it, to talk about it so soon would be a disservice. Sure, yeah. I feel like it would make more sense to get to the end of Legacy and they say... Oh yeah, don't worry. Here's our new line that we've never done before. It's called Combiner Battles. Oh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> so all right, okay, cool. We're doing that now, are we? And that's you know, yeah. that's the end of it. Of course. And that from there, it's like yeah, okay, now we can actually sit back and look at it. But uh-huh. until then, there's no point. I don't think. Sure, sure. The okay. So speaking of this video, do you think you could fill that bath? And if you could, how long oh. would it take? <laughs> no, I think I would die. <laughs> <laughs> you look like that one the mummy they found in Mexico. One of the first comments on that video was, Sheep, you're not going to fill that bath. <laughs> Better men than you have tried. And I went, yeah, but we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> My favorite thing about that video is yeah. I got two comments. Um, well, I say I got a comment. I'm sure I got a comment and I got a Discord like message somewhere mm-hmm. and a random server yeah but people were like you probably should have cut that final joke it wasn't funny and i'm like that's the bit everyone found the funniest <laughs> it's the best one it was like i i think legitimately i don't think i've ever been like caught off like guard by a jar joke because i always see it coming you know because like because you know like oh was yeah you know put in the pun? jar and stuff oh what's up you always see it coming is that a fucking pun ha <laughs> no <laughs> Oh my god, I'm probably murdering fucking people's Jack, ears with that. that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, holy shit. All right. Like <laughs> Bad um, news about alcohol, but continue. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. He's, he's just going to get really angry and start swearing in a bit. <laughs> And that's when I start swearing and what I'm withdrawing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, all right. So. But I, I think for the two minute yeah. reviews, that Nemesis review was my highlight. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm really happy I was able to be a part of it. Yeah. I, I really appreciated it. That was the first time I was like, this is what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. This this is just this is just some dumb bullshit yeah. thing. It's not a big dummy. It's just someone being like, hey, promo me. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a shame you didn't start doing this. This this what the fuck am I trying to say? It's just a shame you didn't start doing this uh, 
is it a channel? It's a it's a Twitch stream. Uh, I mean, it is going to be the vods are going to be uploaded on YouTube in a more edited form. It, it, it's just a shame you didn't start doing that then. Well, it, if we don't mind shifting uh, shifting the topic to me a little bit, my huge thing is that I've always wanted to do something like in terms of creators and stuff. I just never knew what. Because the thing is, yeah. when it comes to making things for me. I'm very much, it needs to be something I'm really passionate about, or I just can't bring up the work ethic to do it. Um, yes. So I remember before I would try and like, oh, I saw your videos. I'm like, oh, I can do reviews. I can talk about stuff. Um, There's a bunch of things, but I could just never bring myself to kind of like, you know, just do it. You know what I mean? Because I, I just like, well, see, like I, I get the idea of like, I, I want to do something with, with um, streaming and uh, YouTube and stuff like that. But I just didn't know what I want to do. And I didn't want to just kind of like do something random and just kind of fall off because I started weak. Um, but when I realized, because the thing is, I like to interact with a lot of people that I really yeah. enjoy watching a lot. I mean, I don't know if you know that, but like. <laughs> um, so only fans. Yes. <laughs> Don't tempt me. I'll, I'll get an only f the person I like on OnlyFans on here just to watch. I'm 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 trying to set up an OnlyFans, but my wife keeps telling me no. <laughs> she uh, says no. There's a good uh, there's a good chunk of your audience that's under eighteen. I'm like, that's fine. They can. Oh, they can oh, oh no! All right, all right. <laughs> it's it's <called> down. <laughs> I'm so, sure they can't join in. It's fine. Anyway, <laughs> about to basically. I think that this kind of works for my interests and also like, I, I think it's what I'm good at in terms of, uh, you know, presenting and, uh, just yeah. kind of talking questions and stuff. I actually, uh, I used to do interviews and stuff back in middle school. I, I was part of a film club and stuff and we would get sh um, shipped out and stuff. And we would like just interview dudes for like a website and stuff. Um, but do you want a funny story about a time they asked me uh, when I was in college, they asked me to interview people. Do you tell me please. So we were at some fucking thing. Uh -huh. I can't remember what it was. Some exhibition thing at the mm -hmm. exhibition center of all places. Um, yes. Weirdly enough. Mm -hmm. And they, were, as part of our thing, we had to go film and they wanted to get some interviews with the people who were giving talks. I think it was to do with stuff they'd invented. I don't really know. I say I don't really know. I don't really remember. I don't remember sure. last week. Sure. And we, <laughs> of the group of people I was with, it was like, how do I word it? Um, there was a brony. Sure. There was a man who was, there was a guy who was obsessed with Lollicon. Oh. And there was a Star Trek neckbeard. And there was me. Oh, lovely. And they all made the unanimous decision that I was the only one who had any charisma. So I had to be the one to ask the questions on camera. And I are thought, you, okay. Are you telling me and you I became did, the party face? I did. And it's even funnier because there I am in my big fucking trench coat and my Sherlock scarf. No! Cool <laughs> I, you, you knock it, but I've grown into that trench coat. I look good in it now. I oh, needed sure. to post a picture because it was my, when I went home last month, it uh -huh. was my fit. It uh -huh. looked good. Gotcha. He fucking says. But um, <laughs> the thing I just remember about doing this interview was we got to the end of it uh -huh. and the the, the Star Trek guy just kind of looked after he'd done all the filming because he was director on it and he just kind of looked at all of us and he went Mike, Mike, you didn't think to ask them what they actually did did you? I was like, what? I was like, well they've all invented something, you didn't think to actually find that out, did you? I was like, no. <laughs> he, he, he was annoyed at me and I was like, it was your fucking questions, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you go up there and like, so I'm noticing you that you're not wearing shoes, tell me about that. I just went up there. I was like, "Do you see what they put on the fucking menu for today? What a bunch of reprobates! Who the, who the fuck wants vegetarian lasagna? Fuck off!" Uh, that's lovely. Veggie lasagna, love. Fuck off. <laughs> so let us do <laughs> a couple. No, you're good. Let's do a couple more questions, um, and then we'll go into the audience questions. Um, one thing. Wait, can you actually see the chat? Yeah. Oh shit, because all it says for me is sorry we were unable to connect to chat attempting to reconnect. <laughs> well, <Mal. laughs> it's yeah, fine, it's fine. We're going to go in blind. Blind answers. It's, it's um, fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll we'll do it. We're very professional here at uh, oh, Mind Goblin's be. headquarters. I, you I, might be. I'm just fucking <laughs> reprobate, man. 
Sorry, carry on. What's the question? You're you're good. Um, this is a- to incriminate me further. <laughs> <laughs> so, shape. One thing I wanted um, to ask you: if you had a beginner come up to you and really wants to get in the Transformers, but has no idea where to, what would you tell them? Find your voice mm-hmm. and find the thing that works. Wait, as in the hobby? Yes. Oh shit! Sorry, I misinterpreted the question. Oh, wait, um, oh, like reviewing them? I say. I, I thought you meant like getting into making. Like, oh sure. I mean, we could. We, well, well, okay, why don't we retroactively do the question? If you we were to, you wanted to get into like doing this essentially. Um, tell me, what would you tell me? Like, I'm trying to get into Twitch and stuff. What's your advice for me? Find your own voice. Uh huh. Find what works for you. Sure. Find what makes you stand out. Find what makes people draw, like, draws people in. Sure. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Mm-hmm. Sometimes on the odd evening, I get bored and I Google my own name. <laughs> and I've seen a couple of comments where, like, I've seen people call me a low budget TRDQ. And it's fi- It's how I found out about TRDQ. Lamal. But then I kind of thought, I can never watch this guy now because if I watch him and I'm subconsciously inspired. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not at the point I don't watch any creator in the community apart from like a couple. Mm-hmm. And it's very much sort of finding your voice and finding what works for you. Like, but I, oh. I watch the same people I did when I first started. But it's also just. Yeah, just find something that's like valid. I'm not gonna lie. It, it, to this day, I still get people tagging me, being like, "I'm doing this in under sixty seconds," and this <laughs> they even used a little slogan, "Blah blah blah in under sixty seconds." Let's go, and I'm like, "Just fuck you, man. Do something different." <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. I'm like, I get it. You're 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 expanding. You're experimenting. You're doing all that weird shit, and I I, I applaud it. Uh-huh. You gotta find somewhere to sort of go with it. But I just think, like, find a way to put your own footprint on it. Sure, sure, sure. If I, like, I think if I made a retrospective now, it would probably be a very different beast mm-hmm. to the three that I already did. Yes. Because I'm a lot more sarcastic. Sure. Uh, publicly. And, yeah, it's just find the style that works for you. Because I've seen people where they, this is what this is why I brought up people mentioning me. Sure. Sorry, the alcohol's gone in my brain. No, you are um, you are fine. Um, we we finish your thought, and then we'll do some more questions. I see people where they tag me in their videos, and the videos all follow the same formula. Where it's obviously I'm quite snarky, and sure. I make a lot of sweary comments. And yes. occasionally, for a long time, I would then cut to a Skeletor figure and say, "You're a cunt. Fuck you," and that would be the end of it. Yeah. And I see people where they do the exact same thing. They're like, this figure's shit because it's shitty. Look at this shit figure. <laughs> and then it cuts to like, oh, fucking, I don't know, a Lego minifig of um, Geralt of Rivia. And they're just like, fuck you, you dick. You've got white hair. And that's it. And I'm like, this ain't the one, dude. This ain't the one. Like, I get it. I get what you try to do. But I did it and I fucking killed it. No one else can do it now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Years, you gotta do something else. <laughs> so, sure. I sound so fucking vain. It's because I am. <laughs> well, you know, it's important to be honest, you know? Uh people respect that. Yeah. The oh, Okay. So I'm gonna ask a couple of Transformer questions. Of One course. yeah. So first thing. Um let's see here. Alright. If you were Walked, uh, John Hasbro or Joe Hasbro, as you call him, um, comes up Joe to you. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Um, he comes up, he tells you, I want you to pitch the next uh collaboration figure for Transformers. Uh, what's your dream collaboration figure? I'm gonna say the obvious one, sure. Um, I think the Vanette mold that they've used for pretty much every Ironhide and Ratchet. Mm-hmm being used for the mystery machine yeah no shirt is one um i'm just trying to think if there's any others let me just have a quick scan around the room and see if there's any others i mean studio series um wheeljack for rise of the beast is coming out soon that'd be perfect for the mystery machine it's already a volkswagen yeah that one too i've mm-hmm. fucking got an email about that apparently it's been delayed oh has it yeah it's really annoying no, um sure. 
I think that might be the only one. Sure, sure. No, that's valid. I'm going to go with that one for now. If another one comes up, <laughs> I'll interrupt you and say. <laughs> sure. Um, all right. What do you feel is the most underserved or um, like alt mode when it comes to Transformers? Like, what, How what do you mean? Like, what, what, okay. Oh, no, you're good. Like, uh, basically, what, what do you think that you like? You, you see cars, trucks, dinosaurs and all that. What do you think oh. is like an alt mode oh. that you never see? That is like, why is this not being made all the time? Boats. Boats? Like, I don't need constant fucking boats, but it's a bit weird that I just see some, like, I'm getting random messages. I just see someone mention the Skeletor X bludgeon bot. Now, that, to be fair, that's a collab I would like to see. But, um, sure. Sorry, yeah. Like, we get a tidal wave. Mm -hmm. And I think the last time we got a, a boat based figure was fucking Titan's Return tidal wave. <laughs> So that was about six years ago, six, seven years ago. So I'm like, I don't need one all the time. I've got like a couple of years, you know, something. Lovely. Um, failing that, I would say the, uh, is it the plesiosaur? The, oh, the uh, dinosaur that's paddles. around. Yeah. Yeah, paddles. You know where I was going with this. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Wait, uh, uh, so one thing, chat, if you can start getting your questions in chat now. So by the time we're kind of done with this, we can just go into it right away without having to wait. Um, but she paddles. Oh. Tell me about paddles. What would you like to know about paddles? I, I you, you seem to have an obsession with paddles and I want you to okay. explain this to the class. Okay. okay. So to be fair, no one's ever actually asked me why paddles. So, um, <laughs> Like, about 10 years ago, when I was uh -huh. in college, one of my friends who I went to college with, weirdly enough, we weren't in the same, like, cl class, but we w we lived in the same area, we shared the same days, we used to get the bus together. Mm -hmm. We were both fucking losers. Yeah. And we... He just randomly turned to me one day and went, there's a Transformer called Paddles. I'm like, fuck off. And he showed <laughs> me. And it was like concept art from Fall of Cybertron. I'm like... That thing's fucking amazing. And then it kind of just become a meme because I'm like, right, they're they're reaching into obscurity. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, I haven't thought I haven't sat every day and thought about this fucking figure sure. since then. But like as I began reaching into obscurity, mm -hmm. no, sorry, I wasn't. Yeah. Joe Asbro was reaching into obscurity. Sure. And they began doing all the idol bots and studio series. It kind of like dawned on me. I'm like, why have we not got a paddles? It's such an easy retool of sludge. Yes. Yeah, it's such an easy retool of sludge. I'm like, why haven't they done this? It's so fun. And it it's so shit. Don't get me wrong, there's a bit of national pride in there because of, the lockdown. Yeah, of, of course, Obviously. of course. But I'm like, it's just something different. I think it's because, like I say, boats are so underserved. Like, I'm looking at my shelf right now and I can see uh -huh. none. Sure. So, sure. you know, I'm like, give us a diet up. I think it's also because we still haven't got Age of Extinction Dinobots. I'm like, well, fuck it. Give us some other Dinobots <laughs> that we haven't previously seen then. Yeah. But I think, I don't know. I really can't explain it other than I think it's just something niche. Oh, yeah. And like, I, I feel like a lot of smaller channels, when they start out, they need something niche to cling on to. Yeah. You know, it's no one else was using Skeletor as an avatar. No one else was fucking mentioning how much they wanted legacy paddles. <laughs> I think as well, it's just the absurdity. I'm like, oh, yeah. okay, you've got all these land-based Dinobots. Like, fuck, you look at Power Core Combiners, where it was all new Dinobots, apart from the torso. Sure. And you look at some of the other shit they've done, like Beast and then Age of Extinction, where they introduced Scorn and Slash, and then Paddles. And it's like, sure. fucking give Paddles some goddamn love. No, of like course. Earth Wars, about adding Paddles in. And I'm like, why are you joking about that? Do it. Don't be pussies. Uh, so yeah, to cut the long story short, I really want paddles. Hold on one second. Just uh, don't mind me. Just want to show a video for those who don't do Transformers. Uh, this is Paddles. He is... Here, let's go to the live reaction. Paddles is a plesiosaur. Um, he's great. I have... He's my son. To be fair, I also I also tend to head and paddles as a female Dinobot. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I I think we need more of those, honestly, because like, you know, 
I used to think that, oh man, Transformers has like no female Transformers. And then I tried to get in Bionicle and they're like an extinct species. It is insane. Like, <laughs> I will say, like, I debated doing this in the Discord for a question mm-hmm. of the day yeah. where I was like, it was going to be a bit tongue in cheek. It wasn't me genuinely thinking it, but the question was going to be like, is Transformers too woke now? Are they doing too <laughs> many female <laughs> I don't know what the fuck woke actually means. That's why I couldn't actually seriously ask sure, the question. Sure, sure. Like, I will say it's gotten very good in the past few years of giving female characters, mm-hmm. like, ones that previously didn't exist. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, the... Like got next to me, Cascade and Javelin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those ones and are I'm good. Like, these are two characters I would never have given a fuck about. Oh, man. I, I just re- kind of... Like, I, I just... Re- yeah. You know what I'm gonna say in an age mm-hmm. of the multiverse and over a hundred thousand branching timelines in the series, what about a female Optimus Prime? Oh, oh, yeah, no, that that is a. Uh, I mean, I'm down for that personally. I'm they they had a female Megatron at some point, but that wasn't Megatron. That was a clone. Uh, valid, valid. That that was a clone. Like, I know who you're on about. I'm looking at her. She's great. I right want her so bad, but she costs my rent. <laughs> it's fucking garbage. Yeah, I had to I had to snap that one up before it skyrocketed in price. Yeah. Got a, the only combiner I've ever overpaid on was the C cons, and I don't want to sure. go into that. Sure. Um, I'm still, I'm still drinking away the pain. <laughs> so, sheep. One last question right. before we go into the uh, user questions. Um, and also, if you want to get your user questions in now, now's the time. Because a- as soon as I'm done reading through them, we're just going to call it there because we're almost at an hour. Um, so, Shape, your entire yeah. collection is now illegal. You have 24 hours to hide the evidence before someone comes and arrests you. What do you do? What the fuck kind of question is that? <laughs> How how, fuck, how would um, you hide bonfire? But <laughs> you burn down your house. Oh no! Okay, I see. Yeah, bonfire outside. Got it. Yeah, I lived near a lot of fields. I just wandered into the fields with <laughs> several fucking plastic tubs filling with fucking petrol. Night and fucking so illegal. I'm not going to on the doorstep. <laughs> that last question to me. So the has lab. What do you think? Nah, fucking. What you should illegal? What you doing? Fucking. Like, I'm just, like, you have a very large collection. I'm just very curious. I'm going to become an underground dealer. Can I interest you in Legacy Animated Optimus? Or would you rather have the original? Would you like to say, here, I got something nice for you. I got Retrax here, innit? (laughs) Yeah, you, you like Seekers? (laughs) I've got Earthrise or Siege. Take your pick. (laughs) Well, you want, you want Titan class? You better specify <laughs> which one in advance. It takes me a long time to smuggle that out of my ass. <laughs> <sighs> okay. If you use, it. User. You're a terrible person for laughing at that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Sorry. I can appreciate funny. That's <laughs> why I'm here. Okay. We got some... Like, like I said, guys, get your questions in now. Um, I'm gonna let let's. Do, I actually do have one more question to end on before we go into user questions. Um, Haslab, uh, you're so by my understanding, you basically have all the Haslabs right now, correct? That's uh the right. giant Unicron. You got um the it's Star the- Saber and the you know um Dragon Chicken Man. <laughs> Yes, I mm-hmm. think that's the Japanese translation of Death Star. So I think you're correct. <laughs> exactly. Um, what are your a What are your thoughts on Haslab, like as a concept, and what would you hope the because we're gonna get a reveal stream in a couple days here now. What would you hope that which, uh, which we're gonna be co streaming? Make sure to join in on that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that that was one thing. Um, so we are on the 30th um, are actually going to be co-streaming and just watching reactions or we're going to be reacting. No, we're not going to like <laughs> watch someone else's stream and watch them react and like, oh, that's we're funny. Stream and react. No, in fact, I'm going to stream and react to it. You're going to stream my stream and react to my stream. <laughs> 
Uh, thank you guys for following. Yeah, uh, be there for yeah, on the thirtieth. To quote the holy people above, that sounds like some. Uh, no, I'm not gonna say it out loud. <laughs> all right, all right, call it out. As Lev, <laughs> thoughts. Um. Okay, so I'll answer the one about my prediction. So yeah. I fucking, I reckon I was probably drinking last night and I didn't know about it because I went on this fucking escapade <laughs> about how it's obviously Energy and Omega and then I've, I've woke up this morning. All the comments are like, you're an idiot, in very polite terms. And then all the, yeah. like, all the posts I keep seeing are just, yeah, so I think it's R.I.D. Prime and Magnus and I'm just kind of looking at it and I'm like, no, nah, I think you're probably right. I think it's R.I.D. Prime and Magnus. <laughs> Like, I, I still think there's a chance. Uh -huh. My argument, I think, still sort of holds weight where it's like they don't want to fucking. I'm just being called a motherfucker for something. Um, <laughs> I don't know what. Um, yeah, I think. I very much sort of like think. I wouldn't be surprised if it turns out to be Omega Supreme because uh -huh. Joe Asbro, like, while we've got really good designers on Joe Asbro's team at the minute, we do have some fucking tone deaf people. Oh, yeah, easy. Like, it's the 40th anniversary, and you've got the chance to celebrate more of the brand, and what do they do? Oh, they do nothing. They sit, <laughs> with, a, they sit, with, they sit with a dick in one hand and the thumb up their arse in the other. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, good. Like, this is a whole thing I debated making a video on, and I'm like, I don't have the energy to sit sure. and be that angry. Yeah. But it was like, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if it's Omega Supreme, but I'm hoping it's Omega Prime. Oh, yeah. So yeah that yeah. would be my best case scenario. If it's not, I'm probably not gonna fucking get it. Sure, sure. I so good news. I mean, like, I'm not gonna lie, Death Source was a very questionable purchase. I'm really happy that I have him. Um, but it's like I well, I mostly got him because I'm a kaiju fan and he looks like one of those early rubber suit era monsters. You know, he looks like a mix between Rodan and fucking uh Godzilla. I... I will say, for all intents and purposes, Death Saurus is the most structurally sound one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so as a concept, I completely agree with it. It's just a shame it seems to be set at, well, what if we just do bigger guys? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I mean, you could do a lot more with this. You could do, like, an actual fucking playset. Like, what if you sure. did the arc as a playset? That'd be fun. Teletron 1 and the Scanny bot, and mm -hmm. I don't know what else Teletron uh, the arc has. I don't know, but, like... yeah. You know, what if you did a space bridge from TF Animated? Sure. With a sure. big fucking gate. <laughs> yeah. With yep. the yellow ball, and the, uh, the blue ball in the middle. Um, you know, I just, I think conceptually it's not ambitious. I've said the same about Titan class before. It's not that ambitious. Mm -hmm. but there's so much more to do with it. But I like it for what it is. Um, I also see people talking about how it could be Primus. I don't think they're going to touch Primus yet. Sure. Because Unicron was a big gamble. That is true. I, and the thing is, like, I don't think I've ever heard anything good about <laughs> Unicron from anyone that owns him. Uh, besides I, that, he's big and he looks nice. I will sing his praises as long as you want me to. Because I, my frame of reference is the original Armada figure. And I do think some people are just... The thing I find with this fandom is it seems to operate in... A, absolutes uh -huh. yeah it. it's either everything is good or everything is shit sure and i'm like no it's not that that's not how it works at all like unicron i like it for what it is sure um i can't recommend it for the price oh yeah i mean me, it does the job, but then i bought it with the intention of moving into my own house mm -hmm. where i could build my display around them yeah and i also bought it from the perspective of i'm a fucking loser so <laughs> You know, and then I see people, I, the thing that fucks me off whenever you bring up Unicron is someone's guaranteed to join the chat and be like, it's shit, that's why I bought Studio Cell. I'm like, you haven't even fucking owned it, shut your mouth. Yeah, no, that's valid. It's just one of the things that frustrates. Like, don't get me wrong, if it's like, I've handled both and I prefer Studio Cell, I can't yeah. fault that, that's the way you feel about it, fair mm. play. But if it's, no, it's wank, that's why I didn't yeah. buy it. Good for you, you have nothing to add, yeah. fuck off. Just kind of like, oh, that, like, I made the right decision, therefore validation, question mark? Uh, yeah, and yeah. It's, it's just one of these. It's like I'll post a video that mentions how's Lab Unicorn and people are like, oh, listen to my about the studio sale. I'm like, okay, you can clearly see I fucking didn't. So why are you, why are you coming to me with this? I don't know. This is me, this is me sure. kind of losing my fucking fresh perspective with the fan. But has Lab as a concept, I do agree with. Sure. Yeah, I, it's nice to get uh, those out. Yeah. 
it's just a shame when it is something like Victory Saber or Death Saurus, and it's mm. like people are saying like, "Oh, but I didn't have the money to back it." And I'm like, "That's a fair point," mm. but at the same time, it's like they were originally going to do Death Saurus as a Grimlock retool, yeah. and I'm fucking glad they didn't. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So it has its place. I uh-huh. think I'm going to be a lot more selective on it, and if sure. it isn't Omega Prime, just or- not. Yeah, if it isn't Omega Prime, I'm not going to fucking bother. Unless, this is a big unless, it's an animated Omega Supreme, and one of the backing tiers is animated Ratchet and animated RC. See, I that is a dream come true, personally. Um, I w- Honestly, a TF animated core class Sorry would make me really happy, like in a robot mode. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, if we could get Noah Diaz in a suit that is right? accurate to a scene that probably didn't need the figure no but that's just me being a bit cynical about rise of the beast but like sure. if if we could get that out of no ideas it's like well why not do it with some of the other human characters do it with sorry do it with um did the kids in tf prime ever dress up in anything no I don't jack th- wore a space suit at one point yeah yeah i know that in he, the new um he Earth- wore the big fucking apex armor uh-huh. the thing that star stream wears because he can't transform and mm-hmm. one of the many things that i hated about that show but let's not get into that now valid <laughs> anyway sorry yes i'm completely derailing your no stream you're good uh but because we here, Trump did nothing sorry <laughs> shut up <You> <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know why? Like, I have like, I should also point out, I have like close friends that watch this too. So, like, because you know, I, my, my friends are really supportive. They have no idea what Transformers is or anything. They just tune in the stream because they're nice. Um, so, like, the the first introduction to Transformers, like, yeah, here's Sheep. He's pretty cool, and he's just fucking. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, let me hijack it for one more minute. You know that game where you change the one letter in the title of a movie and it completely changes the movie? I'd like to change Transformers to Transformers. And it's just about a bunch of uh, Transformers just trying to get by. You know, I'd watch that personally. I mean, I guess... I, 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 think, I think it could be a good show. Yeah. I'd watch it. I, I mean, I guess I'm technically a Transformer. I grew up on a farm. But do you farm? Uh, No, not anymore. Why are you like, well, in Minecraft, I do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Same, <laughs> same to be fair. Oh, my God. You should come over and see my Minecraft farm. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got five potatoes on the go. Sorry. Chief. Sorry. My boy. <laughs> Sorry. Carry oh, you're on. good. Okay. Let's get into okay. user questions. So, um, real quick, before we go into user questions, I just want to thank Sheep for, you know, coming onto the show, being my first guest ever. I really do appreciate that. Um, uh, I'm... I'm 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 honored. Thank you. It sounds cringe when I say it out loud. It's not meant to be. Um, thank you for having me so far. And I'm sorry I've completely derailed any credibility you might have had. Oh no, no. It, this is entirely supposed. So I want this to be more of a celebration of creators I like. Um, and you're doing perfect. So you you are good. So yeah. So anyway, Trump did nothing. Sorry, <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So, yeah, if you guys are interested in uh, who I interview and stuff like that, go down below, uh, go to the about section of Twitch, find my Patreon, sub to that, and we do weekly polls on who I pester to try and get onto the channel. Um, Also, if you'll see there, subscribe to the YouTube channel so that uh, you can see this edited VOD afterwards. Um, Because, you know, I'm basically going to. I'm sorry? Edited. I'm gonna release it full and edited. You're just, you're just gonna cut out all my answers, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's just me talking about myself, and then you're so, just. <laughs> what do you think about this? And all you get is just a really cut out. Yes, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like cut it out. Like, yes, I think this was good. <laughs> or I use text to speech, and it's like, hello. I thought that slab was boring. Can I, can I just ask that he use the Ed Formers text to speech? Yeah, big I gotcha. Fan, big fan represent Ed Formers <laughs> do most. So, if you guys are interested in that, 
<laughs> if you guys are interested in that patreon down below youtube down below uh go to my twitter that's where i announce everything that's all in the about section if you want to support the channel and kind of like help me do more of this um really i can only you know gauge that if you guys um you know keep watching keep tuning in um, like I said, on 30th, me and Sheep are going to be reviewing, uh, well, not reviewing, we're going to be watching the big HasLab uh, announcement. And also, well, Nick... I'm, I'm going to be watching it, you're going to be watching me watching Oh, of, of course. <laughs> on the next week, I'm also going to have two two guests, actually. So, um, be prepared for the announcement later today on who those people are. But look forward to that. If you want to catch those, you know, follow me on Twitter, all that jazz. Um, I can't believe you're having it back you didn't tell me. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm being I'm being shit. Carry uh, on. Oh sure. <laughs> User questions from uh, Lady Delta. Where is the new? Where is the third studio series video shape? Um, one of them is currently sat in the deleted files bin, mm -hmm. and one of them is sat unedited because I actually did begin to edit. I actually sat down about two weeks ago, and I was like, "Cool, I'm going to get back to this. I'm going to hit the ground running. I'm going to do it." And I sat down and recorded this each figure of wave five. And that was the plan. Do it yeah. wave by wave. And I just sort of I got about ten minutes into recording and I thought, who the fuck actually wants this? And I just got bored and stopped. <laughs> well, now. Obviously if there's like interest, I'll probably come back to it. Oh yeah. You know, push myself through it. But I'm just kinda like I feel like I'm doing this and no one cares. This is the thing with me and YouTube at the minute is it just Well yeah. I would say personally that I very much enjoy your content. And I know for a fact there's other people that do. Thank you. Of course. Um, so also from Lady Delta, what is your favorite TF legacy figure so far? Uh, um, I, I would say Armada Prime, but I spit a cop-out answer, so I'll ah, skip him for now. No, you, you, can, you can be honest. It's important. But no, because I say him for everything. Like, oh, I bought sure. him last year. And it was like he's the he's the best figure I bought this year. So <laughs> I'm, okay, our other primes are given, but let's yeah. spice things. Okay, up a bit. okay. Um, Nova Prime. Sure, Nova Prime's good. He's just the embodiment of everything I want him to be. Big, beefy, bit of a bastard. Mm -hmm. I like him. Space racist. It's crazy how like he's a retool. You know what I mean? Like he. It's insane that he's a retool of the Ultra Magnus mold. I never had not the Ultra Magnus mold. What was it? The Galaxy Prime? No, he is a retool of the Ultra. Ma no, he isn't. I mean, kind of. Kind of. So, yeah. Like, yeah, because I've got Galaxy Upgrade and mm -hmm. I've got Shattered Glass Magnus, and that's my only frame of references on the figure. Mm -hmm. And I've like comparing them to the Galaxy Upgrade Optimus. It's weird the difference because it's like that yeah. Galaxy Upgrade Optimus. I just keep him because I'm like. Hey, he's Optimus Prime with a jetpack. Yeah. He's a cool guy, you know? But then it's like you get to Nova and it's just I love him. Oh yeah. He looks like he looks like a cunt. He looks like the <laughs> kind of character we need him. You know, we we need him as a franchise feature. Yeah. Why are more people not talking about him? Valid. I just see someone say, How do you build a wall in space? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... Nova Prime will find a way. By the way, Nova Prime did nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh Madam. we got a question from dr ivo robotnik uh, a couple questions so l these are going to be like really kind of easy so we'll just kind of uh you know just slingshot them because there's a bit of them um where do you sure. buy your bots the most um so i'll be up front i've been a bit naughty lately and i've been going to amazon uh -huh. and has repulsed quite a lot yeah and I know that's frowned upon because if you see the likes of Kapow Toys where they're like, oh, but we're independent retailers. Yeah. You should sponsor us while they're fucking smugly t rubbing one out. <laughs> but, um, you know, they, have you watched The Boys? Uh, I'm aware of it, yeah. So there's a scene at the end of one of the seasons where Homelander's like stood on top of a building rubbing one out saying, I can do whatever I want. That's how I imagine the independent retailers when they find out like people prefer to sponsor, like, support independent retailers uh -huh. um but I, yeah no I, at the minute it's been amazon and pulse but usually i will hit up in demand mm -hmm. in demand toys in the uk sure and it's 
they're a good company. I used to go Kapow, wasn't a fan of them. Their customer service left a lot to be desired, in my opinion. Sure. So I switched it in demand, especially because they've got an in like an actual brick and mortar store. Yeah, no, that that definitely helps out a lot. Like you go in, like I don't think he's here, but Lab Productions, I, like I've met up with him at In Demand, and we've perused the aisle, the big wall of Transformers, and it's just it's fucking it's holy, it's mythical. Mm-hmm. I just see someone in the chat putting Kapow toys can eat a bag of dicks, wallopers, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Like in the man's just chill as fuck, and that's the ones I tend to try and support when I can. If I can, I just go Amazon or Pulse. Valid. Um, on on occasion, I'll go Smiths. Sure, sure, sure. Um, if you had to have an animal alt mode, who would it be? What's your spirit animal sheep? Is it a sheep? I hope not. <laughs> Because sheep just follow the crowd, but every time I get comments on my videos, it's either people agreeing with me or people say, you shouldn't swear, it's offensive. <laughs> the, there, the... Might be, there might be children watching, I check the account, it's a 12-year-old, I'm like, oh yeah, fucking apparently so. Um, <laughs> my mom won't let oh, me no. watch the things with swears. <laughs> so stop making it. <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> uh, it's an animal alt mode, I don't know. Um, bearded dragon. Beer dragon? No, that's valid. That's valid. Or a uh, Komodo dragon, because they're fucking hench as fuck. Yeah, no, 100%. 100%. Or, or a honey badger. Honey badger's pretty good. I'm surprised we don't have a honey badger, like, alt mode now. I mean, I guess Tasmania Kid kind of feels that. I mean, like, if they wanted to make an original character, they can just retool that, because that figure's fantastic for what it is. Like, $11, and you got this little nice uh, Transformer. I haven't got it, and I don't know if I am gonna... I so I got it because I'm you know a Beast Wars completionist. Um, legitimately, probably one of my favorite core classes. He's really big for what he is, and he has a really good articulation. I don't doubt he's good. I I'm am. just kind of entering this transitional phase mm-hmm. in my life. It's getting very introspective. Oh yeah, but I'm kind of you know looking back and thinking like, where am I sitting on this hobby? Oh yeah, and part of that is. What am I wanting to complete? Like, I've wrote off the Rock Lords. I ain't fucking bothering with them. Forget that. And the TF1 figures, when they come out, I'm not bothering. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I, with Tasmania, I'll probably, like, if I see it, I'll probably be like, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. But I'm not going out of my way to get it. Oh, I no, 100%. Is. Yeah, he's a, he's a nice little uh, desk spot. You know, I, I just, like, for the the quality for the how much he is, I really like him. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Um, will you ever bring He-Man into the verse? Debated it, and I don't know. Sure. I, I, I kind of always thought if I did, it would just be a complete tongue-in-cheek, shitty piss take kind of thing. Like, I don't want to say what my idea is in case I end up doing it and sure. just completely spoiling it. Yeah. But the idea would just be completely fucking just shit. Yeah. Just shit. Like this is the thing. Sure. I have all these little ideas. And I'm like, right, but I can't take it too seriously. I have to be a bit tongue in cheek. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Um, what other bots would you hope for a time class next? So, I actually recorded a video about this, and I got bored of the video. Yeah, it and I thought no one wants to see this, so sure. I got rid of it. Um, my original thing was Omega Prime. Sure. As a Titan release. Oh, interesting. So, do Omega Prime have R.I.D. Optimus and R.I.D. Ultra Magnus, and that could be it. Because the point I made in that video that no one will ever see mm-hmm. was the Titan class budget is a bit fucked at the minute. Yeah. Because, like, what do you do next? So I kind of had the thought of, well, what if you do what Commander class did and redistribute the price point? Yeah. So I'll do Titan class Omega Prime, and it's both figures as commanders in the one box. Got it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm sorry to be rude, but have we got many more? No, no. Uh, actually, we got uh, two more kind of silly questions from Dr. Robotnik, and then we can wrap up. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just got to me. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, we, I mean, we like I planned this to be maximum 30 minutes. This We ran on for an hour and 18, so we got plenty of, like, I, I'm more than happy with the length we got. Um. Okay. Uh, that's what she said. Uh, nah. 
<laughs> Which booze pairs the best with watching Bayverse movies? Which booze? Yeah. Uh, for me personally, Morgan Spiced. Sure. That's my that's my heavy drink. That's the one that I hit when I'm like, I want to get blackout. Oh, yeah. Valid. Or I could go vodka if I really don't want to remember that I don't like vodka. <laughs> Which seeker deserves its own mold? Own mold? Yes. So, which seeker deserves to not be a repaint? I mean, okay, so Slipstream's the objective pick. Oh, yeah. No, I agreed. Yeah. Um, But as a general pick... I am going to say Sunstorm. Sure. Didn't you just fan of Sunstorm? He just, he, it's been that long since he had a figure. Give him something good. Sure, sure, sure. All right, everybody. I think we are down for the first video of Mind Goblins. Uh, Sheep, what would you like to plug before we let you go? Um, Just keep an eye on my channel because I'm going to be promoting some fiction some short like not short film some mm. actual produced content in the sh in the form of stories and series and all that sort of stuff so please just keep an eye on the channel for that transition into i don't know what the word would be fictional content let's go with that alan um and also uh, i just want to uh one more time i think that's probably about it for what i would want to promote Awesome. Oh, of course, also my patron if you want uncensored early videos, but I'll, I'll be real. <laughs> uh, I, I've not made any videos lately, so I wouldn't worry about that one. Valid. The... So, I just want to thank you, Sheep, so much for coming on. It's been a pleasure, and I'm really excited to do the uh, 30th stream with you. Uh, we'll make sure to, uh, you know, you go get some sleep, and then we'll work out details tomorrow. Um, yeah. The... I also want to thank everyone that tuned in today for the first one. I'm hoping to make Mind Goblins a mainstay of my Twitch. Um, we got a bunch of guests coming in. Um, tune in next week for us to have both Cam, the Toy Hacks man. Uh, he's the man that designs, you know, Toy Hacks. That is going to be on Wednesday. And on uh, Friday, I will announce that guy on Wednesday. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited for this. And uh, thank you, Sheep, for being there for the big first step for me it, it, it means a lot i do really appreciate it uh you get there bud i think he died well um well since he died that's fine um look down below uh click on kitongu if you want to give me some money uh just support the show overall um, if you want to subscribe to Patreon and have more of a say of who we interview and stuff like that, uh, feel free to go where that's applicable. Um, just go down there to Patreon is in the about, uh, follow me on Twitter, uh, just so you guys can be the first to know when I go live with stuff like this. Um, and also, uh, follow the YouTube to find the full VOD and also an edited version version later down the line. Um, thank you everybody. Really? This has been lovely. Uh, I love all of you. You're all great. Oh, I hear him again. What's up? God, I just had to run off for one minute. Oh, it's all good. I was worried that the stream broke. No, when you reach a certain age, uh, alcohol doesn't agree with you for long. Oh, I see. <laughs> um, actually, I've got one more thing I'd like to oh, sponsor. Sure, what's up? Uh, your Patreon. Thank you. As a, as a, as a sponsor. As a plug. Uh, as someone who has sponsored the channel before and for hosted me as your guest and let me destroy your reputation. <laughs> uh, sub subscribe to Spats' Patreon. I, I appreciate it. It would make me happy. Um, I mean, mostly because I'm going to be very transparent. I'm horribly unemployed and paying bills is hard for me. So if you guys can help me with that, any little thing helps legitimately. I I'd like to not have to like take out a couple of things of curry at the checkout line because I can't afford it. Um, but yeah, you're all lovely sheep. You were wonderful. And I hope everyone has a good day. Bye. Goodbye.